Today we're going to check out a new plugin from uh, X Acoustics called Ghost. And uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this plugin, it's uh, something uh, between um, the FM8 synth and uh, the Serum synth. So it's a little mixture of, of both. As always, make sure to leave a like here on, uh, on my videos and uh, all the engagement uh, helps to drive, uh, drive this channel forward. Right, so back to the ghost synth here. Let's uh, just begin by playing uh, just a few of the patches here that I prepared for the ghost synth. Let's begin with Cosmic Keys. <laughs> So we're gonna dig into this uh, little FM matrix here in a little while, but uh, first out, let's just uh, try a few sounds here. Kalimba rattle. So you can create really cool sounds with, with an FM synth. Yeah, so I've just been uh, playing around with this synth uh, for uh, two evenings, so uh, there's a lot of things here to uh, to get your, to wrap your head around. But basically, uh, you have these oscillators, you have the A to the F oscillator, and then we have this matrix, and we can mix and match and modulate uh, all these different um, oscillators in different ways. And we can control the output of each oscillator at the lower section here in the FM matrix. And for each of the oscillators, we obviously have the rate, so we can control like the octave of of each of each oscillator, and the semitones, fine tuning, tuning, and uh, also unison for all these different oscillators. And we can also control the wave type. And uh, there's also oscillator filters, like you see in Zebra and Serum, and uh, some oscillator filters, panning for the oscillator, and uh, a separate filter section for, for the oscillator with a ton of different cool filters. <laughs> yeah, I bet a lot of people here in, in Europe is uh, heading for bed, me included, but uh, a quick live stream diving into this new plugin because uh, I felt it was uh, actually really cool, a new synth here to check out. <laughs> So try to bring in a little bit more of a like a light bulb kind of a ping sound to this one. And as we can hear, there's uh, not a ton of effects on this uh, little patch. So maybe we can take a look at the effects here in, in this plugin. So we have the main page, then we have uh, the effects page. And this patch just uh, have a simple multiband compressor and reverb. If we make a press uh, at the end of our effect list, we get to choose from uh, all these different effects which uh, you typically see in uh, most uh, modern synths, like compressors, filters, choruses, reverbs, delays, and yeah, distortions. With a whole bunch of different distortion models. And we can of course uh, sort these in different orders. And uh, yeah, you can stack up a whole bunch of these. But uh, it's obviously gonna be dependent on your CPU, how many effects you can stack up in your patches. I think I attached this to the mod wheel. So like in Serum and other plugins, we can drag one of these nodes, the mod wheel modulation here and, and drag it to different parameters. And that way we attach that to the parameters. And then you can hold that uh, little, this little button and we can drag the amount of the modulation So 
it's uh, really quick to set up these types of uh, modulations. Oh, a quick note, if you decide to purchase the Ghost Scent, you can use my affiliate code MORNINGDEW24. And that way you get 20% off regular price of the Ghost Scent. And at the same time I get a small portion of the purchase. Thanks. Let's try the chorus. Right, so let's go to the Sagan pad. We have envelopes, envelope 1, envelope 2, 3, and then we have LFOs, obviously, which you can edit to your heart's content. And five LFOs, and then we have these uh, frequencies. Yeah, that's a solid kick. So you can see in this patch they're using the this uh, frequency modulator to modulate the tuning. And the random one, two, three. Key follow and velocity, velocity follow, and after touch, I think STE, maybe it's stereo. And then we have this uh, modulation source target page. So we can see all the modulations that's set up for this patch. So we have random, the random one set up to control the filter frequency. So it's really easy to go overboard with a high frequency content in, in an FM synth. But yeah, it sounds really crisp. So that's the Sagan pad, and then we have the Seismic pad. Quick to see what's happening here. So we have uh, the F oscillator, which is this one, which is uh, modulating the C oscillator. And if we take a look at this, we can see that the C oscillator is uh, a ratio of one, which means if we press a key here, it will be the same pitch as, uh, as the key we press on the keyboard. And then this uh, F oscillator is a ratio of three, so it's gonna be a, a higher pitch and it's gonna create uh, these uh, crisp uh, high-end notes, high-end harmonics. Yeah, so ne the next one, Sick Jimbo. So more of like a sound effects uh, type of sound. Spank bass. And then the Trumpy lead. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, just a quick rundown of uh, the quick patches I made for for the ghost synth here. And as I mentioned earlier, they, they might end up, uh, end up in uh, some kind of sample pack or 
yeah, maybe I'll send them to X Acoustics here to include them in the synth. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I got a little bit of work to do on some of these. It's uh, it's just some some quick patches I made. <laughs> 